Why is it always that people can migrate to other countries and then be more successful than the people in the country? Like, why can a Lebanese or a Euro European or, or whoever it is, right, an Arab or something like that, migrate over to the country of, let's say, Jamaica or the Caribbean or, you know, Belize or America, right, and be more successful than the actual people that are in the country, as in, you know, the actual locals that are there. And the Jamaican black people will continue to support your family's business throughout Jamaica. You see me I say? Because Jamaica and especially the black ones are true believers in that slave matter out of many one people. You see me I say? When it comes to people like you, when it comes to people like them, no what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is dash lifestyle kindly for watching me for the first time remember to subscribe like share and also comment to my returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back and watching my video so guys i have this video of our brother from jamaica he has decided to come out and explain the reason why uh black jamaicans they love promoting uh asians and uh, other races are uh, businesses you will find some more black uh, uh jamaicans they really prefer to support other races than their own races and our brother from jamaica he has come out and give us a reason to why the black people or african people in the in my in general they love to promote other races businesses leaving their own their own brothers and sister businesses to go and support the asian the white businesses so watch this video then i'll come back with more comments people can immigrate to other countries and end up being more successful than the people you want to know the answer sis this is the reason why and for anybody that needs context um there was a young woman that made light of the fact that you know she left her and her family, very rich family, left um, when the problems happened in, J in Jamaica with um, Hurricane Barrel, and then came back and made light of that they were able to fly out on a private jet and then come back um, like nothing happened, all right? Basically making fun of the people that actually had to stay there. They couldn't afford to leave. They had to stay there and endure the storm, right? So this woman asked a question, why is it always that people can migrate to other countries and then be more successful than the people in the country. Like why can a Lebanese or a Euro European or, or whoever it is, right? An Arab or something like that migrate over to the country of, let's say Jamaica or the Caribbean or, you know, Belize or America, right? And be more successful than the actual people that are in the country as in, you know, the actual locals that are there. And the, let's get the, the, the biblical reason and understand why this is happening. So to understand why they can do, all be together, right? And when somebody's like, they're not even white. Well, it doesn't really matter because all of these people w were against Israel. All right, they all came. So let's go to Psalms 83. We'll start at verse 3. Um, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. The name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Now, remember, this word is a very interesting word, because what are the people that are still in the South that still believe that the black and brown people should have been slaves still to this day? Well, they fly a certain flag in those areas, and that's a confederate flag. And the confederation or the confederacy was the um, southern states that when, you know, when that time was was to come when they were fighting against the north the north were saying okay we can um free the free the slaves and then the south was saying no we're not going to free them right so you're just seeing like even modern still today this is psalms 83 now this is this is way back in the day but this is showing the prophecy being fulfilled here now who are these people the tabernacles of edom the edomites the quote-unquote red man the quote-unquote um Europeans, uh, Romans, um, English, right? France, Spain, Argentina, all right? It, the people that took over um, Argentina, right? These people right here, 
That's what you're talking about. But it's not only them, the Ishmaelites, and these would be the Arabs, and the Moab, or the, which are the Asians, and the Hagarenes, and Gabal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Ashur also is joined with them. They have a hope in the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kison. So basically destroy them. He's, um, David, um, Sol Solomon, I mean, Sol Solakia, David is asking the Most High to come against these. But let's find out, why did they make this tumult? Why did they make this agreement to come against us as a people? Why were they able to be successful? This is why. But it shall come to pass that if thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy Elohim to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. This is Deuteronomy 28, right? And so let's, let's look at some of these curses. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. This is why they are able to be more successful than us because we went against the Most High's commandments. We broke them and therefore the Most High took his covering away and they were able to take over our everything. They were able to take uh, our children. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, right? Now, this is, goes into why we were enslaved. Thou shalt grope at noonday, and as the blind gropeth in darkness. That's just picking cotton and sugar cane and doing all those things. All right? We betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her when they would take our wives, and then they would um, send them off, or, or the slave master would come and sleep with them. This is why. And why, we, and why we couldn't keep our children. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and that I shall look and fail with longing of them all day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. We were powerless to actually stop them from doing these things. And therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And this is why we also have so many nicknames or bywords that they call us. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yahweh shall lead thee. So no matter where we went in the four corners of the earth, we were given these astonishments and proverbs and bywords. Uh, names like black, names like Jamaican, names like Grenadian, names like American or Afro-American or Negro or colored or the uh, hard R version, right? All of these bywords and astonishments and all these different things that, they, that, that we have, it is because we broke the commandments. So don't get mad at them for just being evil and wicked like they are. They have other gods. They don't have our same God. Their gods tell them to do certain things, which the Most High told their gods to tell them to do certain things. Why? Because we needed to be punished for being wicked and going against him and serving their gods. They're like, okay, well, if you want to serve them, fine, go ahead and serve them. But I'm a, I'm a bush ass because he loves us and he will chastise the ones that he loves. That's why he whooped our butts. They'd be wicked. They don't, they don't have any problems, right? They are still able to run the world and do all those things. We get wicked. We get punished. Why? Because we are his favorites. We're his chosen ones. We're his hidden ones. We are the ones that he came to. And if he came to us and we didn't do what he said and we made this agreement, right? If we didn't do what he said then we get the punishment. So this is why we are in the um, socioeconomic and financial position that we are in the world, all in the four corners of the earth. So don't play victim now, have understanding and what can you do to shift? Because you don't look to your enemies for no solutions. Look to your God, look to your, your Elohim, look to your master, your master gave you laws. So go back, learn the laws, right? And then you'll make the cut. And when the flip comes, when the Messiah comes down and the, and the, and the um, skies roll back, right? And all the angels come down and uh, there's the flip and the Edomites and um, all those nations that were against him and two thirds of Israel, when they get destroyed and, and those who make the cut and make it into New Jerusalem, there will be some that will be handmaidens and servants of the other nations, right? And the rest of them are going to be destroyed, just like the rest of us are going to be destroyed, who doesn't inherit the, the kingdom. So stop acting like a victim. All right. Stop acting like you didn't deserve this. We all deserve this. All right. And what we have to do is make it up to our father by following his commandments, going back to his ways so that when the flip comes, we're back on top. We were on top at one point in time. We messed it up. So now it's going to be our time. All right. But you're not going to make that cut if you're out here serving money. You're not going to make that cut if you're out here serving vengeance. You're not going to make that cut. Now, what you can do practically as well, stop, stop buying from these people. Just stop buying. Next, every Jamaican, whoever, stop buying. Everybody just boycott it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Just don't go to them. Don't buy from them. Don't buy from the people that they, um, 
that they sell to research study to show yourself approved right well study also who do they serve who do they actually give their goods to boycott them too farm your land fine land farm right if you oh we, we need food okay well then farm go off to the wilderness farm live off the land right you there are people around that have places for you i have a place in grenada for that you can go and farm right so go leave stop or starve if you're not willing to, to unalive for the sake of the most high or the sake of your, the messiah literally said if you, if you if you love your life more than me then yeah you're gonna keep your life but then you'll get the second death right you're not worthy of him so we have to shift ourselves we can't be looking to the enemies and the wicked people the ones that have been designated to be at the belt of the most high to whoop his children you can't expect them to do something righteous. You can't expect them. You can be surprised when it happens, you know, at the rare occasions that it does, but don't expect it, okay? So, yeah, you know, solution, every Jamaican, you know, just stop stop dealing with Megamart. But, I mean, in reality, it doesn't matter which one of these companies you go to. They all are a tumult against you, all right? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Like, it, it's a spiritual curse. So all of these countries that we've been placed into, they all have got an agreement against us. So it's a spiritual thing. So Mega Mart, Walmart, all these guys serve the same masters. So, you know, in reality, the most pure solution is to follow his commandments, return back to the ways that he wants so that you can make the cut at the end of the day and then make it into New Jerusalem. Shalom, hope this was, you know, edifying for those who wanted to understand this situation and what you can do in response. Um, and directly, I'm just saying, yeah, you could still boycott Megamart forever. Shalom. Dear people of Jamaica, my name is Samantha Azan. I'm 16 years old, and I recently uploaded a TikTok that was so insensitive, hurtful, and disrespectful. I truly am sorry from the bottom of my heart, and I want to apologize for my actions and words and the pain that they have caused. Little girl, let me tell you something. You did not have to apologize to Jamaica, see? Because no matter what, Jamaican black people will continue to support your family's business throughout Jamaica. You see me I say? Because Jamaican, especially black ones, are true believers in that slave matter out of many one people. You see me I say? When it comes to people like you, when it comes to people like them, no. I have a brother who do, who do, who do open a supermarket, see? All him friend them used to walk, fem, walk past the supermarket for God, Mr. Chin, go support Mr. Chin. And yes, when them not have no money, I my brother at the supermarket, them go trust till the weekend. You see me, I say? So, yeah, my mama, you should never have to apologize because no matter what, Jamaican black people are going to continue supporting your family's business. Jamaican poor people, black people, are still going to keep your family rich by supporting them. You see me, I say? Jamaican black people will never boycott your family's business in Jamaica. That me I talk about. See? Yeah. Out of many, what? <laughs> so, guys, I hope you have watched that video and our brother, she, he has come out and tell us some of the reason to why black people love to support other races uh, businesses not only in businesses they also love to support and to show uh, help to other races than their own races and according to the bible also we have seen our brother he has come out and also give us some of the quotes from the bible why black people they are uh, still uh, worshiping these uh, other races some of them they worship other races some of them they really support these races than their our own races and i think this is now uh something like a curse or what because us black people we love supporting other races and that it is true that it is the fact we don't love supporting our own and that's why so many people so many uh people from other races they are taking advantage of us supporting these other races i remember there's a video i did in my videos you can go and check my previous video of a chinese man a chinese lady in jamaica 
she was telling uh, the fellow black uh, Jamaican that us black people, black Jamaicans, we are very stupid or the African people, black African people, we are very stupid because we love supporting other races than our own races. And this lady, she goes ahead and saying, you black people, you cannot support your own businesses. You don't want to support your fellow brothers and sisters. You love buying or do some shopping to uh, other races. Like, for example, we love shopping to the Chinese people. We love shopping to the Indian people. We love shopping to the Japan people. We love to do shopping to white people. And we live our own and because of that, these people now, they are calling us. We are very stupid people. The same way here, our brother from Jamaica, he has come out and tell us we need to support our own. For these people to respect us, we need to support our own. We need to buy from our brothers and sisters. We need to uh, give support to our brothers and sisters. We, black to black, we need to come together. We need to unite so that we can uh, support each other. Because when we unite, when we will come together, these people, they will respect us. These people will fear us. And that's why you will see in, uh, in this video, there is a lady from, uh, there is a lady from, uh, uh, from Azam family. This Azam family is a Lebanese uh, family. They migrated from Lebanese, Lebanon to come in Jamaica. They have stayed in Jamaica for more than 20 years. And for them being in Jamaica, they have done, uh, uh, they have a big businesses in Jamaica. Now they are among the 21 families, uh, the 21 rich family in Jamaica. So the member of this uh, family, a lady, she was doing a video of her just ex uh, abandoning Jamaica to go in United States So during the hurricane. So after the hurricane passed, now she made a video of her using a private jet. So she she was reading this comment that I'm coming to Jamaica after a hurricane, after abandoning Jamaica for hurricane. So you can see how these people now they are taking they are taking uh, advantage of Jamaicans. So when the Jamaicans they have problem, they will not stay. They will not help the Jamaicans. Instead of them staying and and. Uh, try to help Jamaicans, now they are the first people booking the private jet going to hide in the other country where they think they, they is safe. When Jamaica it is uh, on the wrong side, they are uh, they leave Jamaica, they are heading to other country. So this lady, she moved, she ran away from Jamaica, she abandoned Jamaica because of hurricane it was coming in Jamaica. Now the hurricane it has passed, it has done some a little of destruction in Jamaica. Now she's making a video that I'm coming back to Jamaica after a hurricane it has uh, it has passed. The hurricane it has it didn't uh, done so much destruction as she was thinking that the hurricane it was uh, it was coming to do a, a lot of more destruction in Jamaica. So guys, you can see how these people now they are are taking Jamaican for advantage and you know these people this this Azam family it has a big business in in Jamaica and the people who are promoting them the people who are supporting them they are these black Jamaicans and you can see how these people now they are taking you for advantage this means that they are in your country for just uh, making some money when they get this money they will leave your country they will not invest furthermore in your country it is like the also the asian people the asian immigrant who are who they are uh, coming to jamaica they are build, they are opening some businesses in jamaica after them getting this uh, big this money in jamaica they will not invest in jamaica they will invest all the money to their country same as how they are doing here in Africa. They are coming here in Africa. They are employing our people, our local people, but they, they are not paying them uh, good money, good wages. They are paying them low wages. And when these people, they get also this money, they are going to invest in their country. So it is the highest time that, guys, we should come together. We should support our own. So kindly, guys, subscribe if you haven't. Like this video share and also comment see you on my next one bye bye